welcome to Venture Garage. Uh, the door handle on my O2 Silverado, the rear door, it broke and I wasn't able to get it open. So uh, today I'm fixing that. What I'm doing here is I'm prying out the, the little clips so that I can reach my hand in there and grab the rod and pull the, pull the latch to open the door. So you just put a, put a pry bar in there and uh, you know, just try and be careful because they are plastic clips. And then once I once I get my arm in there and I get that undone, the uh, we're just going to take these two bolts out. And then I don't know what happened to the, to my footage of taking it off, but here's all the clips on the inside. So you're just going to take your little pry bar and uh, reach around all all the way around the perimeter of the door and pop those out. And they're all, they're all throughout the door. Just being careful not to break them. And then here's where the door handle goes, which my door handle is also broke. Uh, it's just take these two uh, screws out, and then the door handle pulls right out. And now here is what's actually broke. That little green clip broke, and so the metal rod wouldn't stay in there. So what I'm doing, rather than replacing the metal rod, is I'm, or replacing the plastic clip, what I'm doing is bending the metal rod into a hook. Uh, I started with just um, doing the top one, which was the, the broken plastic piece, and then I went to put it in and I broke the bottom piece as well. So what I did here is I heated up with a torch and then bent it with a hammer and pliers, and I got two, ho two hooks, and I made them so that they oppose each other. Um, one goes one way, one goes the other way, and they hook through the door handle and the latch at the bottom, which you'll see here in a minute. I uh, wasn't thinking when I put the camera on the table that I was hammering on, <laughs> so sorry about that. But it took me a couple tries to, to figure out the best way to get it bent into, into a hook. And you got to be careful not to bend the hook too far down or else uh, it won't reach the top and bottom loops. So that's why I started by straightening it out um, so that I wouldn't use up too much of the length um, in making the hooks. And so this is how it works. It just hooks right through that little hole where the plastic piece used to be. And here I'm just putting it back together. It's uh, super simple. There's just two studs with nuts on them. They line up in two holes in the door. You'll see here in a second right there. And that is it. Um, it's kind of a pain getting the getting the rods to line up um, to get them both hooked in, but it did work out just fine. And then once I got those in, uh, the next step would be to put the door handle itself back in. But mine's broken, and I'm going to make a video. Uh, I've replaced it a couple times, and so um, I'm going to build one out of metal, and I'll make a video about that coming up in the next couple weeks, so I'm not actually putting it back in. But again, here are the two screws that uh, mount the door handle. Okay, and here's a look at the bottom hook. I just It's normally threaded into a plastic piece, and then the plastic piece hooks into that eyelet right there. And so all I did was just make another hook on the bottom. The top here you can't really see, um, but you already saw it on the on the bench. And then now I just uh, am popping the door panel back on. It literally just pops into place, uh, super easy. And then there's just those two screws uh, that hold it in. One, there's one in the armrest and one in the cup holder. 
And that is literally all that holds the door on. I did uh, that plastic that's on the inside of the door panel. Um, you got to pull that back, and so I just used a little bit of RTV, a couple spots to stick it back where it goes, uh, just to kind of it keeps the dust, some of the dust, out of the car and stuff. So <clears throat> I, I just glued it back in a few spots. So that is about it, guys. I'm going to put in the last two screws, and then we're done. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, check out the links below for my website and my Facebook page. Um, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.